what's going on everybody Memphis J here Black and Tan Media I got my littlest son Judy uh. Boo with me today and I'm out here underneath this maple tree in my backyard I got a little bench that I sit on and uh, I'll probably show it to you in a second but uh, anyway this video is mainly to kind of document me trying to get Spanish moss to survive and grow here in Middle Tennessee and I'm curious can you do it so we uh, of course like a lot of people really enjoy going to the beach my wife is always really interested in seeing the Spanish moss and how quick she can see it as we're on our drive down there and uh, usually we go to uh, Florida to Tarpon Springs where I've got a uh, aunt that lives or we also sometimes go to uh, another spot I'm not going to mention because I don't want to blow it up but they got a lot of Spanish moss around that area too and uh, anyway we were down in Florida earlier about a month ago almost exactly and uh, so I thought it would be a good chance to kind of check in and just see yeah thought it would be a good time to check in and see how the Spanish moss is doing after a month and I'll uh, kind of tell you what I've been doing and show you where it's at so uh, I'm going to flip the camera around and we'll do some more Alright, so you can see this is my maple tree, and I like to sit under this tree on this little bench here. And uh, so this is the main tree that I've got the uh, Spanish moss in. I've got it hanging in a few different places. See if you can see this one, it's about the furthest out. That one has been hanging really good there, and has just stayed. A lot of them do get blown out since they haven't been growing naturally um, this is a spot where I just kind of gave up and was putting a bunch of them on there to try to keep them alive some of it is not doing as well as other some of it is not doing as well as others I might want to keep that away from this one but uh it has done really well in this month I haven't had very much of it die I do have to come out here and kind of look around on the ground and see if I saw any fall. We had a really bad storm last night, so I wanted to come out and check it and see if any had fallen so that I could get it back up there. But uh, I've got it mostly in that tree. I do have one other little tree that I've been putting a little bit in right here. And it seems to be doing pretty good. It must have gotten pretty soaked last night. So this part is still kind of drying out. That's what it looks like when it's wet. And then the longer it, parts have already dried out. So that kind of makes sense. I want to open this up and make sure that's not getting too wet and too waterlogged. But it's doing good in both of these trees so far. I don't think it can survive the uh, frost. And I don't think it can survive, you know, freezing. So probably have to bring it in this winter because it does get cold here but you know just an experiment thought I would share with you and document how it's doing um, I do think it's really cool when you can see the new green stuff growing here in this one so that's awesome maybe it maybe it is doing well y'all if you know more about this than I do feel free to comment and give me some tips I'd love to learn some more about it thanks